Spinthusiasts. Good morning or good afternoon, depending on what time zone you're in. <laughs> Welcome to Secrets from the Guard Closet Live. I'm Jackie Live. Brown from Spintronics, and this over here is Jeremy. Hi. From Guard Closet. Yeah, recovering after last week's like eight hour, you know, long uh, debacle. Hello, Candace. Um, <laughs> it, it was. Um, you know, a, a whole lot to do all of that. But but I think it was very successful and we got a lot of information out. And so that was exciting. Yeah, I had I didn't get to be on it for very long, but oh my gosh, I had so much fun getting to talk to you. I, I always love going live and getting to talk to our followers. Here, let's pop Candace up here because <laughs> hi Candace. Hi Candace. <laughs> <laughs> so it's so much Who fun. Knew? Yeah, I mean. Hey, I did you see on our um, on our YouTube channel on the Spintronics YouTube channel? I think I sent you the screenshot of it. Somebody said, "Oh my gosh, we need more Jeremy content." <laughs> oh my God. I was like, "Yes, let's get more Jeremy content out here." I think it was on one of your uh, TikToks, is what it was. Oh uh, yeah, that's probably about right. That's probably about right. Yeah, I'm trying really hard over there on the TikTok to like give information and be entertaining because, you know, why not? It's fun. <laughs> we call this edutainment in yeah, oh, in edutainment. our area. Edutainment. I, I, I fully appreciate edutainment. That sounds amazing. I'm also a little bit in recovery. Yesterday, we were in New York seeing two shows, which was super fun and fantastic. But like, oh, you live like close to New York, though. Like two hours. It's like okay. it's like an hour and a half, two hours. It's not bad. But like the second show, we drove home from, and like leaving New York at like ten thirty, and not getting home until like one, and you know, like child that's you past my up. bedtime yeah it was yeah i was like this in the car on the way home like oh let's just go yeah but it's fine it was a good time it was a good time so i guess yeah that would be like me going to like springfield or something like yeah 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 it's it, it's i mean it's fine we saw a company with patty lapone and she sang her face off and held this really long Ooh. note that was just like all in your face and you're like yeah sing that note patty lapone um i love and it and then um uh we saw Little Shop of Horrors, which was pretty good too. It was a smaller theater, but like that was pretty good too. I find that I really like the music of Little Shop of Horrors way more than I like the story of Little Shop of Horrors. The the plot in Little Shop of Horrors, the show, like the Broadway show, isn't nearly this. It's not exactly the same as the movie. So if you've ever seen the Little Shop of Horrors movie, like I like, I love the movie. Like the movie's fantastic. The show is just a little different. It's also a little darker. So. <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, that I I always find that I love the I love watching live shows just for the fact of watching live shows. Like, oh yeah, yeah I yeah, yeah. and and I can take somebody like my husband; he can come and totally appreciate it, even though he's not, you know, he's not a crazy arts person or anything. He played football in high school, and and like like that's you know he was in the army, and and that's he's the very logical, practical sort of person, and I'm like yeah. the artsy yeah, farsy yeah, like, silly like, one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like, but, yeah, but like everybody a live can enjoy performance it. Performance thing that like gives you like all of those and like you know, yeah, that just gets you excited. You know, you get fully immersed in. It's like the one place you kind of go to and just like get immersed in that little world. You know what I mean? I mean, you go to the marching band shows or the color guard shows. You should get immersed in that world as well. Uh, yeah, if you're doing your job. <laughs> well, and I think that's that's something to be said for you know the professional sort of like BOA, DCI, world class versus A class, you know, high school versus like, like you're going to be a lot more engrossed, I feel like in an NFL football game than you are necessarily for a high school football game. Unless of course, like your kid is playing or something. I mean, there's so many factors, you know, I hate right, to right, say right, right, like right. a big general statement. There's so many factors, but like, I think as a general thing, you know, there are factors that make you more engrossed in it, whatever. But speaking of, I have a hot topic for you for today. Ooh, hot topic. Pear, 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 pear. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Um, so of course Nikki's not here this week. She will be back next week. Woohoo. Uh so but fully diving into the drum core world. Yes, yes. You'll be she is who she has got some stuff for you guys for next week. So make sure you guys watch next week's episode when Nikki comes back because she will have all of the tea. Uh <laughs> I just have the uh, the drum corps uniform reveals that have been coming out, blowing me away. I okay, was it mm, Blue Knights? Blue Knights 
like I, I thought it was a completely different core, first of all. I'm not going to say who it was. If you see it, you'll know exactly who I'm talking about. But I thought it was a completely different core, first of all. And then second of all, I was just like, wait, is that the drum core outfit? Or is that just the color guard? But it was like like the drum core. Like so yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't see the color guard announcement yeah. out yet. Yeah. yeah. But they like, yeah. I, the, the, the marching uniforms are going so much more toward costumes now. And it's emphasizing the show so much more now um the other one i saw that just blew my mind was phantom regiment which i've kind of felt like each year they have kind of just played off of the same thing the same sort of styles even though they're they're catering it a little bit to their show they're uh -huh. one of the ones who've kept it really traditional not this year uh -huh. they are going there are uh, I, no sleeves first of all and I was just like, I would have liked to march drum corps with no sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. like, it is hot. It is yeah. hot. And, like, when I marched was, like, the one of the last, you know, few years of, like, the actual, I mean, I was in the color guard. So I was wearing lycra anyways. But, like, the, the you know, the core proper members were wearing, like, wool marching uniforms. Yeah. And... Yeah, I, I I'm just like wow that like what they're wearing now would be so much cooler. There's sequins all over the place. They're back in black this year, which, I mean, I'm I'm not gonna lie. I always loved Phantom Regiment a lot more in black than I did when they switched over to white. So sure, 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 absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, I, it's I I think, and, but the thing that I think people have to realize when you're looking at those costumes and you're seeing, you know, all of these amazing DCI groups like um, uh, have these amazing costumes. A lot of those are like sponsored or yeah. heavily discounted. Those those cores aren't paying full dollars. So like you see those as a independent person, you know, as a small high school and you go, oh, my God, that's amazing. Like, of course, I can afford that maybe right if you've right. got the right budget for it but like most of those costumes are like easily two hundred dollars a piece like yeah easily. um you know the basic shirt that the you know bands are doing you know that's in like the 50 to you know 65 dollar range depending on what kind of quality you get but if you start as soon as you start getting into all of those other intricacies the cost just goes pure on like right right through the roof so it's like yeah. it's it you know it's good that we're seeing these inspirational things right that's how we should look at them yes. as inspiration it's like when you when you go to the fashion runway you you know you know you watch the paris runway like half of that stuff isn't going to be something that anybody's going to actually wear you know yeah. or it's like art and it's inspirational and i think that's what a lot of people should look at when you're looking at the at the drum corps and the big color guards is really looking at it from that inspirational standpoint, not like I'm going to be able to copy that with my budget. That's right. just, you know, that's just not very likely, but like looking at the style lines or looking at the art and how they do those things is what you should. Maybe we should take the sleeves off and everybody be a little bit cooler in the summertime. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should take the sleeves off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Candace says that uh, in her situation, lucky, luckily only the guard gets costumes. Everyone else has the normal marching uniforms. And that's what, what we've done for decades to, yeah. you know, ease that cost of getting new costumes every year. You don't want to necessarily get a new costume every year if you can, if you know, if you just have a marching band uniform. And I think that's what most high schools do. There's a marching uniform represented by the school, has the school colors, and then there's the color guard, which, you know, they are more representative of what the show theme is and so on. I I think there are some drum corps that have kind of got, or sorry, there are some high school bands that have kind of gone a little bit away from that, though, with all the new fabrics and printing processes and things that come out. Like, there are groups that have costumes with, like, an insert where you take that insert out and then you can replace that with just, like, a printed fabric or something. Um, and then there are groups that buy like whole tops. Like you would buy your top and you would have the same marching band top for all four years of high school. And like, that's your top or uh, you would have to buy a new top every year or something like that. And I don't know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of different ways to do that. And that is why we have wonderful people like at guard closet to help out with the design, <laughs> working with your budget, that sort of thing. 
Yeah, and I think it's it's true what you say. I mean, I would say to people, um, you know, especially from the like the band director that's planning, you know, looking at the the marching band uniform budget that you get like every 10 years or every six to eight years or something like that to buy new uniforms. One of the things that we did with the one school that I taught was say, okay, this allotment we're going to use, we're going to use this $400 or $500. I mean, usually the school's uniform budget will be like for that one big purchase will be like $600, $700. And that'll include like everything top to bottom. Right. Um, but what they've started to do is say, okay, we still want that six to $700 budget, but we want it over five years or we want it over six years so that now that $600 budget for one uniform that you're going to wear for six years becomes six uniforms that you can wear every year and be different and, you know, have and or still get that band top that looks like your school that you can rep and have that at a min much more lower cost than paying the, for the $600 uniform, the traditional band, $600 band, $600 band uniform, and then have that shirt that you use for parades and football games and all that kind of stuff. But then you're able to get stuff for your show every single year because you have this hundred dollars sort of like rolling every year over like six years. I mean, that's the sort of smarter way to do it, right. Is to like, Work, work with the budget numbers and look at them differently. I think that's um, going to be the key to the discussion today is looking at what you've been allotted for the year or whatever and, and then figure out how to best split that up. Um, and I think this, you know, consignment obviously is a big part of that. So... Speaking of consignment, we have a special guest here with us this morning. If she's Always ready, special. I'm going to go ahead. Uh, so special. Uh, this is Christine. Christine uh, works over at the Guard Closet Consignment in Pennsylvania. Hi, Christine. Hey, guys. How are you? How's it going? Good. Can you guys hear me okay? Oh, yeah, you're great. You sound awesome. Okay, good. Just kidding. <laughs> awesome. Well, you know, yeah, here we are talking about consignment. Um, now, a lot of times I'm uh, in the consignment warehouse, so I'm kind of at a satellite location today. I'm kind of a little staycation this week, um, about an hour or so away from the warehouse, about an hour and 20 minutes away. So, um, but there's still lots going on because, you know, like a guard closet, we just never stop. I mean, we go all year round. And... Um, so there's still lots going on this week because I have a lot of satellite work happening this week or remote work, if you want to call it that. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I mean, there's there's stuff listing um, now. There's, you know, customers submitting questions. I just uh, spoke to a band director this morning uh, for quite some time about um, a possible purchase that they're looking into for their show for the fall and um, even some consignment that I can't see what that is. Um, and even oh it's oliver oh oliver was Here writing his letter jays he was delivering them to me this morning so that he knows that <laughs> he did his work okay, and he's allowed to get up from the table jays. now <laughs> sorry christine continue right? <laughs> no these are important things in the summer these these things used to happen in my house at the same age as well so oh yes very important but um yeah i mean i was just talking to a band director this morning for a while um he's planning for his fall show you know, this is a band director I've known for a long time. I actually worked with him briefly uh, for a summer. And, um, you know, they're planning ahead. But kind of like <laughs> some of the things you were talking about just a few moments ago, Jackie, they're a band that has gone through a lot of traditional looks over the years. Um, they have a very unique mascot um, that I don't think I know of any other uh, school in the country that is this mascot. Uh, maybe I should just reveal they're they're the millionaires, okay? Which comes from, yes, I know, right? They're the millionaires, and okay. that comes from okay. Okay. Um, the fact that their town of William, their city, I should say, of Williamsport, Pennsylvania, used to be a a, a very a big area of commerce for the logging industry, okay? So, um, it, you know, the the forest would be. Um, lumbered out timbered out and then the logs would be floated down the susquehanna river and williamsport at that and like it was like the late 1800s early 1900s was 
full of very rich businessmen who were managing, you know, this logging and lumber business. So Williamsport, their mascot is the millionaires. Okay. So like I said, very distinct, yeah, very distinct, um, you know, identity to their school. What is that? What is that? What is that as a, what it? Who is running around at the football games? That's what I want to know. Like, what is the well, big? I don't know. They have a, right, the, a logo that they use a lot of times is a top hat and gloves. Okay. And um, oh, okay, you know, okay, that's, okay. That's used a lot. The top hat and gloves is used a lot. So it's just like a giant um, at top one hat time, running around with gloves. That's all I picture. Like, right. Like a big yeah, right? top I don't hat they, with little arms sticking I don't know. out and like big googly eyes. Like yeah. Hey, I'm at the football game. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I don't. I honestly don't know if you know. There's a, a cheerleader who dresses up as a millionaire, you know, or something. There has to be. But, um, but yeah, I mean, they, I feel like they it would be are... like the Monopoly guy. Exactly, exactly, exactly. It is Something like, like that. Monopoly it's got to be exactly guy, right? like that. Absolutely, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So, anyways, they're they're a great band. They have a long legacy in this area of being a leader and what's happening, you know, in the marching arts and things like that. But, you know, just like everybody else, they're trying to figure out how they would like to get themselves a unique look for this year so that it's a costume look that and they want to try to get away from, you know, the traditional band uniform. They have beautiful band uniforms. I mean, beautiful. But, you know, they're ready to do something that's costume. But just like everybody else, they don't have a whole lot of money set aside. And they don't necessarily have a lot of time at this point. Either. Well, yeah, that's the other thing to like really think yeah. about. Like if you're, if yeah. you're, if you're, I will say this, and this is, this is, this is notes for everybody that's out there sure. that's paying attention. It, right. Eight weeks from now, well, nine weeks from now is August 22nd. So most costume manufacturers are at a eight week time frame to get your stuff done. Yep. So yeah. I'm telling you, if you haven't yet used your uh, noggin up here and got your orders ready to go, you're probably not getting anything until almost September now, um, you know, unless you're right. getting stock. I mean, there's definitely band tops <laughs> and stuff like that, that, you know, are, are, are six week items and what have you. But for the most part, um, everything is going to be at that eight week time frame. So, um, yes. you know, the the idea of now flags and like all the all the other stuff is 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 very different obviously but just that sort of like design process of getting you know the getting everything lined up and in a time frame that you want it to be like if you're not getting this stuff by the end of june if you've got band tops and you're not get, and you haven't like started your design or started like, anything like that by the end of june do not expect to get them you know by the end of august like it's just it's not likely to happen there's a school that i work with that actually like last summer the decision was made that they're going to get new band uniforms and like they're not even thinking of like like they're doing the design and all that stuff they don't even think about making the order yet because they're not going to get their uniforms until the fall of 23. So like they started designing them summer of 21, they're going to get them summer of 23. So like, like it's been a two year, it's a two year process that's for them. That's usually the process for and like, that happens. Like intent. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I want to say like when I was in high school, I feel like it was a similar Oh, yeah. time. I feel like we started the end of my sophomore year or the middle of my sophomore year and we didn't get them until my senior year. So, yeah, but band uniforms in, in the traditional sense take a really long time. I mean, and, and to be honest with you, the design process with them. I mean, I've gone through the design process. I've mm -hmm. been a designer for them. I mean, to be completely honest with you, the, the amount of like ridiculousness that some of people go through designing them is like insane they'll like spend weeks talking about whether the line goes like this or whether the line goes like this was that really different that i just did not really but they'll argue about it for several weeks about whether it should or shouldn't so like you know i mean it's like if you could give people if you could give people a reason to have an opinion and you know multiple people get to have that opinion multiple people are going to have that opinion and it's going to slow yeah. everything down. So like, you know, that's neither, that's neither here nor there. But um, in terms of talking about budget, which is why we're here, I guess. Yes. Um, that's the topic for today. We're talking about 
small budgets, small band budgets, and how to stretch them as far as we can get them. And and look, I was thinking about this before I came on, and I have done I've done it all, right? I've worked with color guards with zero budget, and I've worked with color guards, you know, with tens of thousands of dollars of budgets, right? So the gamut has been, you know, there. And um you know, there's there's very obvious things, right? And I'm gonna say this. I'm I'm gonna honestly say this. If you're just going on to Amazon and and like buying stuff from there for your color guard, you're just not like doing what you should be doing for your color guard. Like it's just you're throwing money into an abyss of you know of a large corporation and buying like cheap stuff i mean sure you can get black pants off of amazon for you know 19 dollars or 15 dollars or something like that but it's and gonna they be a- might last the season maybe that's exactly you might need to replace them yeah yeah, yeah. like They're halfway not- through yeah i mean the, that stuff on amazon or whatever other you know website like that walmart whatever that you would order from that stuff isn't performance-based clothing so it's not going to hold up by any means it's just they the seams are not made that way especially the seams are not made that way like you can Mm -hmm. look at a seam in a guard uniform um and see that like most of the time it's double hemmed um it 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 has you know it's folded over double hemmed you're not getting that in like the random amazon like stuff it's just it, you're it's, lucky if that stuff is surged even right, like it's right. like run through a serger and done like yeah 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 what? yeah 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 it's coming from you know across the world you know and from a foreign land and you know you're just not you're not supporting you know the organizations that then you know support you and i think that's another reason why guard closet i mean we say this all the time like we're important as in you know when you deal with us as individuals because we know all of the answers to all of those things. So um, you come to us and say, I've got this small little budget. Like that's what you, that's what you're able to deal with. We can, we can work with that because we have access to, to so many things. I mean, if you look, um, I'm going to share my screen. This is like a new set of flags that we're about to put up or it is up. It is live. like, this is live on our yeah, website. Those are already but, listed. Those yeah. Just, are, those just got listed yesterday. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, the lovely thing about this is, is this is 16 flags at $275, which I think works out to be like around $15 a flag, um, which is hugely different than the $30 a flag you're going to pay you know, retail for this, right? Um, there's only 16 of them and you got to get 16 and that's, you know, that's what you got to get. And if you have 15 kids, you're going to get 16 flags. If you have... 24 kids, this is the flag line flag. This is not the ensemble flag, but it has so much use and versatility, right? Like, I think that's the thing that when um, Christine and I talk about people using the website and how that how that works is to, to look at it not from a, I need a flag about pirates, right? Because I'm doing a pirate show. You need a flag that might be black, you know, black flag. Not a black flag, but a black flag. And you can put that up. And now some of this stuff is is um is wholesale or is you know actual retail stuff. So you're gonna get on our site like the you know, this solid metallic flag that's lovely for a, you know, a pirate show. Um, and is you know $25 or $30 because it's a solid metallic flag. Um, but all of the consignment stuff that we have. You know, here, this is a great, I mean, that could be, it's a swing flag, but this could be very much used for a pirate show, like at some point in time, like absolutely. So you just got to like, sort of think beyond this would be a great pirate show flag, you know, like there's the red and the black, like it's there. It's all there. It's just sort of seeing. Wait, how many of that flag is there? I might want that one. Uh, Well, (laughs) he's like, hold on a minute. That looks like (laughs) It's a little oversized, just so you're paying attention. Oh, to I love oversized. That's it's my def- favorite kind. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely a little. It's definitely a little large. So, but I mean, like you know, there's just this. Here you go. This would be a great pirate flag for like a ballad when the you know the wench comes in or you know whatever. Like you just have to. 
in some ways you have to almost like, and I've I've done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wench! I can't. I can't. Jeremy, like that's, it. that's the Isn't part that they, they took out of Pirates of the Caribbean at Disney World. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. The, that, where they auctioned off, you know, that's the part they took off. They took out of the ride at Disney World. They did so take that out. You can put it back much. into your they show. Take, your yeah, yeah, yeah. Show. They did take what? that out. They did take that out. <laughs> Um, but I just think, I just think like if you're able to think outside of what you're directly looking at, like this one even says 19 green slash black insect flags. And I'm like, look at that. And I go, all right. I sort of see what they mean while they say it's an insect flag. Right. And that's why it's kind of in quotes, but I see a bunch of other things that that flag could be used for as well. You know, like evil eyes and like a criminal like you know there's like the bad guy flag or the monster flag or you know like the toxic flag like it doesn't have to be just what it says on on the site and i think that that's one of the things that um we strive so hard for is to um you know give 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 generic enough description so that when you're looking for something you know you can you're going to get a bunch of different options. I mean, we just typed in black flag and like 133 results came up. So, you know, there is a ton of stuff there. And on the flip side, if you're not finding what you want down here at the bottom is this little chat button. <laughs> and so like you chat with us and we will help you find what you want. That's the thing about small budgets. It's working with people that know how to do your small budget. I mean, you could tell me you have a budget of $5,000 and that includes uniforms and that includes flags and that is, includes everything. And $5,000 sounds like a lot to some people and doesn't sound like very much to others. And it's it's all you know dependent on your school. But we believe that there is something out there for everybody, you know, in whatever price. Like here's here's another perfect. I mean, this is $150, $150, 150 jackets that were, you know, as the entire lot, if you were to buy, would be $10,000. But for 150 jackets, you know, like, that's a pretty good price. Uh, now, of course, in our world, like, if you saw these, you'd go, well, I only have 50 people in my band. And we'd probably go, all right, well, let us know. We'll try and get it worked out. You may pay a little bit, you know, a uh, little bit more than the average single price per uniform because we're splitting a set. Uh, and we have to be careful that we have all the leftovers that we, you know, need to continue to sell. You can't take all the mediums, right? Um, but, you know, 150, 150 jackets for $10,000, um, you know, whatever that works out to be individually is going to be vastly cheaper than buying this outright. I mean, this was probably easily $150 each per jacket yeah you know so that was they're probably looking at like fifteen thousand dollars for these jackets like at the minimum i would say because is that I've been jacket, told this, is that jacket and I, i've been told those jackets were only worn for 10 performances yeah yeah that's crazy those are practically brand new they're they're a year old are they so, you know is the and what, in that, how is that is it just the jacket or is and the black pants are underneath of it, or what is the black pants are underneath it for the photo? Yes, so the jacket is very high waisted in the front with the long tails in the back. So, kind of like if you move them right there, whoop, no, you move the mouse again. <laughs> but if you go back over to the front image of the jacket, like right below the buttons, that is where there's a pair of bib pants on there for the photo. That's so yeah. cool. So it's a that yes, it's a so it's a great look. Cool. Yeah, and those, the zipper those jackets the are. The zipper correct. is in the back, but it looks like it's in the front. I actually yeah. might have to send this to yes. Chris Farley right now and get him <laughs> to understand this jacket because his one school yeah. wants a jacket that they want to take off and whatever. Um, okay. But um, you know, it's uh, it's oh my gosh, that's 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 super fabulous. That's super fabulous. Yeah. Oh, I'm, really? I'm really excited about those. And, you know, the consigner was really excited to give them to us, too, because they said, apparently, if I remember correctly, they have a whole other set coming in of, you know, something for this year, and they don't have space for it. 
So they have to clear out space immediately so that they can get ready for their next batch. And, you know, we all know that there are band programs out there that have very large budgets, okay? But they have their own challenges too in the fact that, you know, they are getting these large amounts of, um, you know, uniforms and things in, and they have the budget to do it year after year after year, but they don't have the space. So it kind of all trickles down. It trickles down from the big boys down to the little guys. And, you know, we can keep helping the little guys with consignment so that they can start to look like the big guys if they want to, which is great. Even if there are smaller numbers, it doesn't matter. You can still dress like the big guys, you know, even if you have smaller numbers. And think about how exciting that could be for your band program, too, especially if you have a band program, you know, that maybe has, you know, an older band uniform. You don't have the money yet to replace the older band uniform, the traditional band uniform. Look at those tops. Aren't they cool? <laughs> fabulous. I love those. Fabulous. They this, are this, fabulous. And this has kind of turned into, oh, let's look at the let's look at the website and see what else is there. Like, I love that about the website. the website. Like you can go on the guard closet website. Like I can go on the style plus website or whatever. And I can look at stuff and I'm like, okay, well this is what they have, but I can go on the guard closet website and it is going to be so much different from day to day because you don't know what people are going to buy. You don't know what people are going to send in to sell and like <laughs> new stuff gets listed all the time. Yeah. Yeah. It's exciting. Like, I, don't I know yeah. It just depends on how much time I have and how much I'm listing. I oh, love yeah, that. Not, it's so much. It's so much. And like, doesn't even count. I mean, Texas. I can tell you more stuff is going to go up this afternoon. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this afternoon, as soon as we get off of here, I'm going to go right back to the table where I was sitting earlier and I'm going to crank out a whole bunch more stuff. So you're going to probably see a good, at a minimum, like five to 10 more sets at the site, you know, yet this afternoon. So yes, I think that's a really great thing is we've gotten a lot of consignments in too. So we have a lot of really great stuff to share. We have, yeah. Aren't those pretty too? Those water lily tops. Yeah. We, I have, there's like I, 200, some of those. Yeah. Oh my two, gosh. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. $7,000 for 210. Those are that's really like, pretty. Oh my gosh. That is, that's awesome. And we do break up sets too, yeah, right? Those are really pretty. Yeah. 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 We would break yeah. up those. Yeah. We'd as definitely break up the sets. Right. As long as it's reasonable, like Jeremy was talking about, like if somebody is going to clear out all the mediums and we're not going to have any mediums left, then we might, you know, not do that. But as long as we have a sellable set remaining after the split, then we, you know, we can make it work. Yeah, um, But if you had like a hundred you know, people and you want half, that works out great. Yeah. 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 And I, I, yeah, I exactly. would say it does. Too, it really does. Like looking at some, looking at this top, right? You're like, wow, this is a very specific sort of show, right? And I could kind of see that, right? Like I, I totally get it. This is water lilies, you know, could be nature, could be jungle, could be, you know, something else. You just add a little something else to it. But one of the things that I think is interesting is if you can, like oftentimes people go out and buy these box shows, right? And the box show is named, you know, whatever it's named, uh, 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 feathers right and it's named feathers and that's the music that got written and it's called feathers you start to look for that uniform you have a low budget you have a small budget and you're like well we don't i can't find anything that fits feathers i can't find it. it's just not working um no matter how hard it we was try, petals it could be petals it could be nature it could be it then all you need to do is take the title out and throw the title away and go, let me listen to what the music is saying. Let me listen to what the music is doing. And I can take it and change it into whatever I want it to be. Music is music. And, you know, like, unless it's got like specific themes to it. I Even then I'm, I'm sort of like, it can be anything. Don't get bogged down in your box show being only in that box. That doesn't make any sense. And that element of surprise is amazing general effect too. Right. You know what I'm saying? Take a very common, some a, a piece of music that is known for a specific theme or a specific mood or something like that. And if you flip it around all of a sudden and do something totally different with it, you know, amazing general effect. I, I so wish I could think of a great example right now because there are really great examples of when that's been done. Yes. But you, you know what I'm talking about? And, this, and you're talking about the same thing with the visual approach as well yeah 
Oh, I was about to show these. Totally it like different. already looks like they're sold. <laughs> they were sold out. That's so funny. Those are gone. I know. I periodically I go through and I clean off, you know, stuff that's sold out. So it doesn't, we don't get too disappointed. Yeah, it's a know? little, it's just <laughs> a little, it's like, just a little hiccup oh, in that's there. Sold out. Yeah. yeah. It's just a little hiccup in the, in the system, but um, this is lovely. Again, yeah, that's 20, yeah. it's 24 fix. costumes, mm -hmm. 24 costumes for $850. I mean, that's like, that's like insane. What is that? What is that? 850 <laughs> 850 divided by 24. That is $35 a costume. Oh my gosh. That's like a $200 costume right there too. That is that is $35 now, a costume. Now, disclaimer on that one, okay? And here's something we do take into consideration when we're doing pricing, okay? Those um were not <coughs> excuse me, a professionally made costume, okay? They're still well made. They're not made by a, main, a major manufacturer. So many times in those cases, we do kind of lower the price a bit because they're not made by a, ma a major manufacturer. But anything that's, that's going tip. on the site, though, is still... What's that? That's a good tip. That's a good tip when you're looking at this yeah. stuff and you're looking at our site. Like, right. don't get bogged down in a manufacturer either. Don't like, oh, right. I only use creative costume. I only use, you know, dance sophisticates, I, whatever. Like... Yeah. Don't get bogged down in that. Look at what, look sure. at the and if we, And our customers can trust too, that if we put something on the site that is not a major manufacturer, it's still as well-made, you know, right. maybe it's right. somebody who just, you know, sews for a couple of band programs on their own, you know, that sort of thing. Right. Look at Jackie, mm -hmm. you know, but yeah, it, but, do that. you know, <laughs> we take that into consideration with the pricing, but you, can be assured that it's still a well-made costume. Um, I, this is fifteen dollars. This is twenty-five dollars a costume. Twenty-five right? dollars a costume for this. Now, in my world, right. I would probably remove this sleeve. I'd probably take this. Make every, You know what? That's the theme of the season. Make everything sleeveless. Get rid of the sleeves. <laughs> Everybody's going sleeveless this year. Let's go. Let's go. Well, You're gonna I be think, freezing your butt off know, in the that's north. That's another season, good but. point. That's another good point, though, is like don't with consignment in particular. OK, you're already paying a lower price. Right. So allow yourself to think outside the box a little bit. And if there's a small alteration or a small addition or something that you want to make to what you see, then then go for it. Aren't those pretty, too? Look at that. Oh those are in really good shape. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, those are really good. Why does it make me think of Power Rangers? I love uh, it. Uh, well, there's well, only pink no, it's the Beatles. There's not the Blue Ranger. The, the Blue Ranger's not there. Mm. The Blue Ranger's not there. Yeah, right? Right. No. I mean, that's. Those are definitely Sergeant Pepper costumes. Uh, but, you know, there can be other things too. There could be military, you know, and whatever. Oh, those a are convertible like a costume. Feature. Look at that little convertible number. Okay. Right. Well, that's that cool. Out. See, there's several convertible pieces on that. The the leg, the sleeve, and the side piece. Yeah. Again, this is like this is that <laughs> this is I have to I, I have to keep going back to my calculator and be like, oh my god, this is that much money. Oh my god. Like See, okay. <laughs> I, I Brain is like working on this this particular costume. It's like, ooh, if you had a show about like um like a zombie disease outbreak sort of thing, and like they were slowly getting more and more infected throughout the show, like in the first movement, you just rip the sleeve off, and then the second movement, you rip the leg off or whatever. And yep. I don't know, my brain's just rolling on it. I love it. It's a piece, it's just a piece that pulls up and pulls down. Yeah, on you it. can see. So you could even like change. It's it's like one of those things where you don't have to be committed to the change right, either right. in a performance. Right, I mean, right. You if could, you just want it to be the gray, it could just be the gray the whole time. You don't need to reveal the red at all. Right, like right. You, you know, like if that, and that's a forty dollar costume. That's a forty dollar costume. I, I mean, that's like you. You're just like you're not gonna get something like that. Look at those little lovely things. Come on. <laughs> Those oh my gosh, really I love Okay, don't take the sleeves are off they? of that one. I love those sleeves. No, no, don't they? this is not this this definitely does not go sleeveless. This stays, <laughs> sleeves on, sleeves no, no, on, no. sleeves on. Yeah, for sure. For those sure. Are, and that's those like, are so elegant. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes that's like a, I wish see through lace. Sometimes right? I wish that you know it could be easier to see them in person because I mean the 
the pictures, you know, we do our very best to take as best pictures that we can, but you know, sometimes the pictures don't do them justice either. Yeah. Yeah. There's that's a lot Andre. of those too. How many, I can't, my screen is fuzzy. This, is that Lycra or is that um, velvet down on the pants? The, those are all like, those are all like a velveteen. Okay, the, the so this is thing. a printed like velvet. So yeah, look down at the Ooh. yeah, look down at yeah, the look down at the description. Uh, look down <laughs> at the description. There you She's go. Yelling at me already. Correct. I understand. Look at these. What are these? We try to put oh, thirty four dollars. Really nice. Thirty four dollars. Thirty four dollars for this lovely little oh number. Now, and this will fit. Right. Those are a little this less. Is one sleeve. They're this a little less because there's a little more wear on those. There's a little yeah. more wear on those compared to some of our other costumes that are really, really like like new. Yeah, those but you are look not at this like where this new. is right now. Like, you can't see the wear and tear on that costume. Like, you correct. know what I mean? Like, I, I, we don't put out we don't put out that kind of stuff anyway. So, like, you know, no, I mean, no. it's just right. oh, look at that. Look at no, 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 go no, oh, no, not those. Oh. <laughs> no, those are great. But I want you to look at another one that was right next to it. Oh. But those are really nice too. The yeah. gray ones or the yeah, we have a fantastic band from look uh, right to the right of that one that you just showed. Yes. Look at that. Those are those are like those big, you know, full skirt, big, you know, skirt. skirted unitards. Yes. Yeah, with that printed um printed compass, that map kind of thing up there on the top. And everybody needs a, oh, look, a little finger cuff. I love a finger cuff. Uh-huh. Right? Who love a finger right? cuff? Dance of Fiscus, check it out. These are $50. These are $50 and are $48. And I can understand why. Let's understand this skirt is everything. That skirt is big. That See, is I was just saying, do you have a picture of the skirt like pulled out? Because I think that would be that would be amazing. amazing. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Right. That's why I tried to like just push the skirt over so you could see her legs so that we could get the idea that it's a big full skirt. But yeah. yeah. Now, right to the right of that. Um, oh yeah, I mean we have some other things that are really good. I just talked to one of our customers the other day also who is who bought a set of tops because they've got a very small band. They want to make their band, you know, look more like a character and have the band because the band is really small be like a, a sing more of a singular unit with the color guard. Yeah, that makes, and that sense. makes sense. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people, so, a lot of people yeah. in that direction for sure. Sure. So, you know, particularly a smaller group. <coughs> so, you oh. know, they're, oh, yeah, aren't these cool too? Look, you got performance photos. I was going to say, I love yeah. when there's action shots to go along with it. Yeah, like, that yeah just it makes it feel more real. I mean, for sure, for sure. I, I scour the internet for those action shots, trust me. <laughs> yep, <laughs> I do. She does. Because they're does. fun to find. Yeah, the action yeah. shots are fun to find too. Yeah, but it certainly makes a difference in like what you're doing. I mean, listen, you know, those that are you know, those of you that are watching, like we're talking about this is so cute. We're talking about budget, you know, budget saving things. And you know, this this is this is a real alternative, right? Is to get costuming that is more inexpensive is consignment based and then use that rest of your budget money to get the flags that maybe match exactly to your show yes. right like you could get right. away with a little bit of a different costume that might not exactly fit if you can really tell the story through the flag so you know one thing that i think is really amazing sometimes is that when an order goes out that might have you know a, a costume and maybe two sets of flags or something like that it's just amazing to me the combinations that some folks are putting together from what we have and the fact that it's coming from three different organizations. Yeah. So, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. I'm, you take something that was is from Michigan and you put it together with something that's from Georgia and then you put it together with something that's from Arizona and it all goes together in a show that's going to be performed in Ohio or something, you know? <laughs> right, and right. It's, it's so cool, you know? Yeah, no. It's like, oh, those are really nice too. It, it just, yeah. it, all of this, you know, just goes to show you that it is possible, right? Like that's, that's the bottom sure. line is I don't want to hear people saying they don't or cannot afford, they do not have, like, it just makes no sense to me. Look at this listing. This listing is yeah. about, I don't understand why it hasn't sold. It's about the best thing on the, the site right now in terms of yeah. price. 
and what you're getting for the money. Yeah. Um, I mean, these jackets right. are like graffiti based. It's city. It's, you know, it's like rugged. It's like hardcore. It's very 90s, I feel like. And I feel like that's like yeah. in right now. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, <laughs> there are other, uh, there are other color guard jackets that go with that too. Yeah. Separate. I mean, you know that. It, yeah, we have other color guard jackets that go with that. It's crazy. It's crazy. I, like, you can't tell so me that, that, be, that doesn't that fit. Could be an entire band package right there. Yeah. This fits so many, yeah. you know, shows. And, I, you know, I mean, that is so cool. Right, it's just graffiti. It's cool. It's mm -hmm. you know, and that's like, does is that a shako like Urban. a wrap? Like uh -huh. it wraps around your shako, so like you don't have to buy it new shakos. Shako it just yeah, correct. Yeah, you just use the shakos that you have, and you just it's velcro and it just sticks around. That's all it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So great, great, great stuff. I mean, I just yeah, <laughs> right. I just you know. There's Simple. a lot of good stuff there. Yeah, this has been this has been around for a while. This has been on our site for a little bit. And I is, love those so yeah, so nice. so much. Super yeah, nice. those are cool, aren't they? Definitely they're sharp. Tight. They're very they're tight. very elegant. They're very yeah. No bare legs. Wear tights under these, please. Wear tights. She is I not in tights, especially in November. <laughs> well, yeah. In general, in general, put tights on, please. Just put tights on. I don't need to see your business under there. I don't want to see your pink underwear. I don't like, just please don't, just please don't. <laughs> I mean, seriously, like, you know, like, what? Right. So, can I tell you a small budget story? Yeah. So, when I was uh, very, very early in my color guard career, I um, was dealing with this issue of like, they, they didn't want to have a color guard budget. Like, there was a stipend to pay me, and that was it. Like, there was no budget to buy flags or anything. And this color guard, for some reason, the person who was there the year before me decided to like go and throw out all of the old flags. I don't know. Maybe they were in bad condition or whatever. I have no idea what the situation was before I got there, but we had like two sets of flags. And uh, I, I was like, okay. So, my thought was that I was going to, you know, beg, borrow, and steal. I borrowed a set of flags from here, did something here, did something here. Um, and there was a set of flags on the guard closet website. Like this is early days guard closet, but there's a, a set of flags on the guard closet website that was $90. And I said to the band director, okay, is there any way I can just have just $90? $90. Like that's it. I, d I don't want a whole guard budget. I don't want any of this stuff that's going on. 90 bucks. He would not give it to me like, and, and I was probably like 19 at the time, 18, 19. So I was like, where, oh, I don't know, $90. Um, and I ended up, I was at a camp and uh, I sat down at breakfast with all these band directors at this camp that I was at. And they were discussing all of their, uh, their guard budgets. And they're like, oh, my guard asked for $2,000 again this year. And I was like, how are you giving your guards all these budgets? I asked for 90 $90 <laughs> and they wouldn't give it to me. And here's, here's the cool thing though. There was, I think 12 directors at the table, somewhere around there with me. They all threw money in the middle until I had $90 and they gave me my 90 bucks to buy those flags. I was like, what? <laughs> Band directors are so awesome. <laughs> I will tell you another trick that, um, our very good friend, Michelle has done multiple times. Michelle Adcock from Avon Grove, shout out. Um, she <laughs> on multiple occasions will do like a consignment flag. Cause I mean, Avon Grove is an affluent area of Pennsylvania to be, you know, to be honest somewhat. And, um, but they never seem to have a full budget for their band and their color guard, which totally makes sense, but they're super competitive, you know, want to be in it to win it group. And so Michelle Adcock has just done amazing budget things, whether it's, you know, borrow from somebody, which happens all of the time. You can rent stuff. We've rented stuff. We have some stuff that's coming up that you could even rent, um, you know, would be even cheaper that you have to send back. Um, that's the other thing. You can buy this stuff from consignment, turn around the next year and send it back to us as long as you keep it in good, in good condition and get on that cycle um, where you're selling you're selling your old stuff to get budget for the new stuff, right? Like, but the thing that Michelle does is she'll have everybody buy one flag. 
So and it'll be a printed flag or whatever. And, you know, she'll require every, she'll be like, look, everybody pays $25. You get the flag. And then at the end of the season, you keep the flag as like your, like, yay, I did this for the season. I love and this, that. Is, this is my like gift for the season. You know, like you get to keep that flag. Um, smart people. I'm going to say this, the smart budget way to do it is to actually charge your kids like $35 for the flag. Right. And then get the flag, pay only t- go and get a flag, pay only $25 for the flag, then have $10 extra that you can put into your budget to use for something else. Right. There's that, like, that's a very, that's a very, very smart thing to do. Um, and, and, and Michelle is sort of the brilliant, uh, person that uh, was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just let them buy the flag and then they take it and they, you know, they keep it and and that's what they get. You know, you get your show shirt and you get your show flag and ta-da, there it is. Like that, you know, that's amazing. But look, again, have a car wash, raise $200, get a set of flags. Like that's not, I mean, $200 in an afternoon to raise doing a car wash would, is nothing is nothing. Um, If you have that band director, like Jackie was talking about, like that just somehow can't see it or whatever, you can take it upon yourself. Sometimes they're just not familiar with it either. You know, they might have come from a different background. They might, they might come from, you know, having been in a band program that was non-competitive and now they're in in a job where they're expected to do a more artistic pageantry approach. And maybe they're just not as familiar with, you know, what is happening with that and what the expectations are. They don't teach um, that in band class in college. No, they definitely no, don't. They <laughs> don't. They no, don't teach they that. Don't. They're not, they're not, they're not telling those band directors how mm. and how much things cost. No. And just by the way, and I keep saying it, and I'm gonna keep saying it on TikTok. I'm gonna keep saying it on Instagram. I'm gonna keep saying it here. Prices are going up. Yeah, literally yeah. everything by yeah. at least a couple of dollars everywhere. Sure. Your shoes that you're getting for thirty four ninety five last year, thirty nine ninety five right now. Yep. You know right. the rifle that you were getting for thirty nine ninety five, forty two ninety five right now. Yeah. Like that is just that's what it is. Everything costs is. more. Yeah, everything and, costs and if, more. If you're not prepared for it, if you're not thinking right. about it, if you're not going, oh, I need ten rifles. Oh well. They went up $3. I can only afford eight rifles. Like maybe you only need eight yep. rifles in your show this year. You know, like <laughs> you're, you're, you're going to have to, you're going to have to look at that. It's, it's just the truth. Um, um, yeah. Well, here's the thing. Donna says, and I love this, Like your local university has a band class. I will tell you, Donna, that local, that local Oops. university band, band class is, is not going to give you every information we actually came yeah. together as guard closet and created a class called inside the guard closet that we can present at local colleges and universities to give them all of this information they teach them how i've been in those class. i've taught those classes i've been in those classes no they no, teach them yeah. the very basics of drill writing and yeah, they I- not right. a great I job to comment that. on that yeah i have i mean i have two degrees in music education and all of my, I, I got about this much information, real, you know, solid marching band information from those two degrees in music education. Yeah. It's just two different worlds, it's you know? It's two different worlds. It's, it's two, two different, different worlds. worlds. And everything that I've learned about the marching arts has come outside of my two degrees in music education. So, oh, absolutely. You absolutely. know what I'm saying? And the, 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 yeah. Just the idea of budgets. Like I was listening. Oh. I was, I was at um, a conference somewhere and they were talking about, oh yeah, I do. Cause I was talking about this program and like, oh, we want to offer this program. And he, and they were like, oh no, we did that in my band class. And I was like, oh, you did, you budgeted out an entire, uh, an entire marching band budget. And they were like, yeah, we bought, I budgeted out an entire marching band budget. I was like, how much, how much did they tell you to budget for? What was the number? And he was like, oh, a hundred thousand dollars. I was like, mm-hmm. That's real easy to budget, isn't it? $100,000. Yeah. Sure, I'll spend $10,000 on the color guard costumes. I'll spend $10,000 on color guard flags. I'll spend $50,000 on drum drum stuff. That's so easy. That is not remotely realistic but, in any such imagination. And, and a, lot of it, a lot of it also has to do with the expectations of your community as well. 
and the expectations of what the you know the band traditionally has done right. and what, what your parents provide do. like all Correct. of that like you it's, right and it's, how strong the booster organization is all those kinds of things i mean even just in central pennsylvania we have a wide range of bands and styles of of you know and, and budget what <laughs> and budget and what their community expects, how much the boosters are involved, how much the parents pay for themselves, whether it's acceptable to ask a student to put forth some of their own money to pay for things or not. I mean, we have bands that are curricular where you must participate in marching band. We have bands that are extra, completely extracurricular. We have bands in this area in central Pennsylvania who are running both a football band and a competition band at the same time, you know, because it's been hard for some of them to draw a lot of kids in to the competitive band because of the time commitment and things like that. So they're building a football band on the side. Yep. Yep. And yep. some of there's some crossover in and the I membership. Like, course, I mean, I think that's across but, the country. You know, all of these are all different animals. Yeah. And I think it's, it's there. It, that happens across the country, right? Like, the you know the bands. Yeah. I mean, you get into it's like just an the example Texas. for around. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You get into like the Texas and the Florida for sure. Like you get into Texas and Florida, so it definitely is a little bit different. But but you know, most of the rest of us are dealing with some level of budget that we have to do. So, Hi, <laughs> right. Hi. Yeah, that's. A... Hi. Hi, Oliver. I'm taking. <laughs> Hi, Oliver. I'm taking care of seven. Okay, but we're on. So you can't <laughs> we're live and other people are watching you, not just these people. <laughs> he probably could get his own show and everybody would love to set aside a day. Okay. We have girl. to set aside a day to do this and be the kids in the guard closet. And then all three of them hang out here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let, right. them, let them run the live stream. It'll be yeah, great. <laughs> Well, oh my gosh, it would be hysterical. I hysterical. And Victor would just sit there and slap everything because that's what he does. <laughs> He's going to be a drummer. He just. Right, he would wave and wave and clap. Yep. Right? He, he can clap. His clapping yeah. is getting so good. No. Oliver's got great rhythm. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, I, I think that, you know, the bottom line with all of this budget stuff really is the fact that if you work with somebody, we will help you. We will help you. I mean, it's, it's just, we've done this. We know this. This is what we're here for. And this is why well, Guard Closet exists. And I think it's important. It's important, too, to remember that we will help you become what you want to be. We're not going to try to turn you into something that you're not. Because we respect the fact that you might be a, yeah. this particular style yeah. of band or this is what your community expects and this is yeah. what your school administration right. expects yeah we want yeah. to help you achieve that we don't want to turn you into something that you're not or that you don't want to be if you want to be a different band with a different image than you have we can help you do that but if you aren't in a situation where that's feasible where that's not a good idea to change yeah, your yeah, looks, totally. you know, extremely, you know, or significantly, we can help you do that too. You know, yeah. because I, you know, we that's what it is. The fact that yeah, you're gonna call if that's you really call important. Those, if you call one of those companies, you know, that you can Google or whatever, or you, you know, go onto Amazon and you just you know type in what you want, you'll get what you ask for, you know, yeah. you'll get yeah. what you ask for. Um, they're not going to not service you. They're not going to not be there to help you, but you're probably not going to get the best thing that you're looking for or the, 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 the most inexpensive thing or the most well-made thing or whatever. I mean, like I have a, we have a brand manager right now, Brett, who is with a high school down in Florida and, you know, he went through and he has two, uh, a brand new uniform that he's getting and uh, two brand new flags that he's getting and a consignment flag that he is getting for the one group that he is teaching. And as he just a brand manager, message about those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a brand, yeah, right. as a brand manager, he's able to do that. So all he had to do was text Christine and say, I want these flags. Please pull those off the website. I'll get to them in a day or so. She'll pull them off the website and those are secure. Like, you know, that's the, that's the sort of gift of 
of going through someone like Brett, going through some, you know, like any of the other brand managers is you're, they're going to say to you, the first question they're going to ask you is what is your budget? And once, <laughs> like once that question is answered, then we go on the, the path of like, all right, well, what's your show? And what do you need? And what are you thinking? And how many do you need? Blah, 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 blah. And we'll send you down whatever avenues you need to go to to get whatever you need. I mean, here's the bottom line, right? Like Fit the pieces we want together. you to have what you need. We want you to have what is for your show and what is expected and what you need. So like we, and we know those things. We, we have that information. We have been trained for years to have that information. So use the people that are around to, to get that information. Stop working harder, right? Like that's the old thing, right? Like work smarter, not harder. Yup. Yup. <laughs> And that's what we love to do. Like we're here on the training though. It's the experience also, right, you know, it's right. the experience mm -hmm. of having worked with lots of different types of bands and groups in different geographic areas. And I think that's a really cool thing about how things are building with our brand managers. So we have folks from lots of different parts of the country who are experiencing how marching arts, um, manifests itself let's say in different parts of the country different parts because of the country. it can be a different animal in different parts of the country and Absolutely. things that we might do in the northeast you know that are tradition and are expected and things like that might be totally different someplace else and if we didn't have somebody that once lived yeah. in that area or currently lives in that area we couldn't serve them as well because they just they aren't as familiar with how it works in that, yeah, yeah, yeah. In that what region, were you going to say, Jack? You know, if that makes sense. Oh, I was just saying, yeah. like, we we love to do this. And this is, like, this is what we're passionate about. And, like, like this is what, you know, I, I've worked with a lot of bands where the band directors are like, okay, like, I'm a band director. Like, this is my job. Or I'm a guard instructor because they asked me to come on and be the guard instructor. But, like, it's not my passion in life. You know, it's not the thing. It's not the one thing. And so those of us who are working at Guard Closet, like, this is our passion. This, this is, is the thing. thing we have obsessed with for so long. And we have all of this knowledge that we've accumulated through that obsession. And, and, you know, we can actually like get you where, like where you want to go and what vision you have without, uh, you know, without you having to spend hours and hours and hours researching stuff yourself. Yeah. I think I, I would actually even capitalize on that a little bit more, Jackie, and say our actual passion at Guard Closet is the education of the, oh, yeah. of, of all the knowledge that we gained, right? Like yes. our, our passion isn't just like selling the stuff. It, our passion is actually this, educating you all on the stuff and how to use the stuff and how to get the stuff. You know, what we were talking earlier about how, you know, I say I troll the internet and find the performance photos of the stuff that we listed. But one of my absolute favorite things is even the next step then. Something that we've sold on consignment and then I find it, okay? I have sometimes been at shows, okay? And I might wait, like say I need to go someplace else or my schedule doesn't allow me to be at the show the whole time. I will sometimes wait until, until so-and-so shows up if they bought consignment with us just so I can see it and I can get a picture of it or something because it's so exciting. I mean... Jeremy, you put something up a little while ago uh, with Winslow Township. Um, you know, they bought consignment from us. They looked great. They looked wonderful. And yeah. that's one of my favorite things to find then, you know, on social media too, that when the consignment goes someplace else, how it looks great and it has a new life, you know, with, with someone Works else. And then I've seen the original organization you know, kind of like cheering too. model, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's the whole thing. Is they're like, those are our old flags. Yeah, those are our old flags. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's totally, it's, I mean, we are being, you know, we're recycling, reusing, like we're safe, you know, waste, like helping people with their budgets and money and like. Everybody wins. Everybody, literally everybody wins when, when you get involved in, in, in these programs. And like, right. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that, you know, we are growing it. I'm very happy that the website looks like what it does now, you know, in terms of, in terms of variety and stock and interesting things. I mean, we've done the work, you know, all of us have done the work on sort of the off season mm -hmm. to get all of these amazing items in sure. 
You know, I mean, we're there's work being done to get these items in. And so we now want to help you all get them back, you know, get it back out to you. And again, this is beyond the consignment thing, right? Like this is like, this is, this is us being here for you to help you with whatever you need to get you through with whatever you need. I mean, we're talking budget saving stuff on like choreography and drill writing and music yeah. Don't writing. forget about design closet. Yeah. That, I mean, that will save money too. Yeah. I mean, and again, that's the smart, that's the brain behind it, right? That's the brain behind. We had a client, one of the, one of the design clients came in and said, Oh, they want to do a flag in the first number, a, a, a dance in the second number, and the third number is going to be flag again. And I was like, okay, great. That second song is only going to be movement. Like that's going to be a whole lot for a young band to do, you know, to yeah. do all of that, you know, with. Why don't we take their budget that was supposed to be for two flags and make that at least one consignment item so that we can get a budget for three flags and make that you know, make that middle number, you know, they wanted to do a dance with the chair. I was like, okay, great. Do a dance with the chair, put a chain flag, like tucked into the chair so that you could have a moment that like comes out and you get that big, you know, fabric moment and buy an inexpensive. I, I sent the link. I was like, how many kids are in it? It's like, oh, there's 12. I was like, here's a solid colored swing flag that will be super inexpensive. That will fit right into the show. It's going to be like a couple hundred dollars to get that effect to get that effect, right? Like a couple hundred dollars, just like you said, Jackie, $90 to get that set of flags to create that effect will go much further than the $200 you invest into it, right? Like it will definitely like hit everybody much more than if, than if you think about that. And if you aren't somebody that is used to that, right? That it's just like at, the, at your fingertips, like, oh yeah, I can pull that out anytime. If that's not your gig, then you won't think about those things. And you'll take that song and do that dance for, you know, a minute and a half ballad where the kids are just moving. And like halfway through the season, you're like, I can't watch these kids move terribly anymore. I just can't watch them move. terribly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, you'll go, I, now I have to spend the $200 and get the flags. Now I'm going to introduce it on the back end and it, that, you know, can work, but it's not always the best. I mean, we definitely get the calls and the, and the, and the emails and the purchases in like the middle of September, the end of September, the beginning of October. It's like our flags that we got aren't working with our show. We need a completely different look. Can you please help us? Sure. We'll help you. If you would have yeah. went to us to begin with, you probably <laughs> wouldn't be in this problem. But, you know, hey, that's just me. <laughs> hey, I say better late than never. You know, yeah. you know something else I was Something else I was thinking about when it comes along with the design, though, as well, is say so you're somebody who has been designing, you know, for your band, for your own band for years, okay? And say you've come into a situation where you don't have the time to design anymore, but you still want to do the teaching. And you need, you just need somebody to help you with that task and get that task completed. Now, maybe, um, you know, uh, you guys know many people, almost everybody who teaches marching band or color guard, that's not their full-time job. Okay. Right. Right. <laughs> you know, right. so right. They, they have some other job and, you know, maybe their full-time job like. responsibility, right? Know what that's like. Right. But I mean, you know, maybe their full-time job responsibilities have changed and now yeah. they're only available for the rehearsals and they don't have time during the day to be designing stuff and writing the work, you know, ahead of, of that. Yeah. Maybe yeah. they can't take off the whole week of band camp like they used to be able to. Maybe they had a child, you know, maybe, you know, something is happening with a spouse or a parent, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. right, right, Jackie, maybe they had a child. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, circumstances change and the band director might come to this person and say, I really want you to stay on staff. You know, the kids really like you and all this kind of stuff. You can't, the deal breaker can't be, well, I don't have time to write it, everything anymore. Right. You know, I, you can I, come. I'm, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. You You're, can come to the design to services and say, this is what works for our group. This is what our kids handle well. They don't handle this well. You know, yeah. these are the things we're looking for. You know, you we have a customer. Work. We have a customer that we're doing a camp for at the beginning of July. Um, we're coming in. We'll be there for three days with the color guard camp. Um, actually, there's three people going to this camp, which of, of ours of guard closet, um, and they're teaching the show, giving them technique. The guard instructors that are at this high school are there also, like a part of this process. The band director was just like, "Look, like I want, a, I want a next step up." 
I know that these instructors aren't, you know, ready yet for that. If you can help them get there, that's what we want to do. And they gave us a small budget to work with and, you know, we're making it work, you know, and it's like, yes, we can make this happen for you. We want to make this happen for you. We'll get this work written. We'll get a show written. We'll get everybody there for your camp um, to get it taught. And then you just have somebody from your high school kind of like maintaining it afterwards. Like that's the way to go. But with that budget number, with that small budget number, I was able to go back and say, okay, we'll do it for this small budget number. Make sure that the band buys their shoes from us. Right? Like, because every band has to buy shoes. Every color guard has to buy shoes. They all have to get show t-shirts. They all have to get, you know, the jackets. They all have to get a flag bag. We all have to get all of those other things that you have to get. Right? If you turn that around and you get those have to gets through us, instead of Amazon or instead of the random other guy that's not doing anything for your program other than collecting the money for your shoes and sending you the shoes. If you, if you go through us to do some of those other things, then we can absolutely provide you the shoes. We can absolutely provide you those other things. And that might help your budget on our minds to get the choreography done. Cause it's like, well, we've got a hundred, you know, a hundred kids in the band. They all are going to need a t-shirt, you know, for the show shirt. Okay, you're going to buy your T-shirts through us? Absolutely, we can help you get a lower budget on the choreography or the drill or the music arranging or anything like that. Absolutely, we want to do that. The more you package and, in, the better off it is. It's just the you know, name of the game. And when you guys are there, you're going to pick up all their consignments, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> right? Multi you guys are pick up all their consignments. And we're gonna get them down to our warehouse somewhere, somehow. And a minimum set size for consignment. Yes, we need five. The minimum quantity is five. The reason for that is if we went below that and we had a lot of sets on the site, there were like twos, threes, and fours. It would uh, it would reduce the quality of the merchandise that you see on the site. Reduce the the usability yeah. of things. So we yeah. it has to be five. Yeah. Um, that's the minimum. Yeah. Yep. Well, I think unless this, sometimes if it's like a big prop or something, you know. Oh yeah, prop. That yeah, that's yeah. yeah. But no, but yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry about flags. Like flags. a flyover yeah. or something like that. That yeah. no. But five flyovers are the minimum. You must have five flyovers <laughs> are the minimum to consign. You don't have five <laughs> okay. flyovers. You can't. I mean, could you? Oh imagine? my gosh, that's I don't like the show of my dreams. That's the show of my dreams. Five five flyovers. And each flyover is the entire size of the football field from end zone to end zone. Yep. Fresh 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 now we're just dropping one in from the ceiling. Kapoof, like yeah, yeah, you know, like that. <laughs> yeah. That's me. No, That's I mean, how I yeah, want to be. That's to me. answer That's... the question, yeah, that it has to be five. So yeah. if anything is five or greater, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> so. Well, this has been an awesome conversation. Awesome. This I I love I love when you guys are on here and we can we can talk about these things. I missed it last week, of course, I was in camp, but. That's fine. We'll be back next week. Uh, anybody who's watching, make sure you are here next week at noon Eastern time noon Eastern. on YouTube, Facebook, the Spintronics Guard and Guard Closet. Your Instagram. There's some people over here on Instagram that's been oh, watching. Oh, yay. Watch me. Watch, watch the program, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Um, I mean, I'm sure they can hear you, but they're like, wait, they're, 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 I have they're, to add this in. Hold on. You unwrap the flyover and you find a simple player inside. <laughs> or a judge. That's bound to happen. Or a judge. That's, oh, that's my favorite. That's bound that's to happen. My, that's that's bound it happened. I mean, that's how many happy. times have we folded floor tarps on performers? Flip flops. <laughs> Flip flops get lost in a floor tarp every time. Every time. Uh, inhalers, cell phones. <laughs> inhalers. <laughs> Show up in the yeah. consignment boxes. Oh. I found a remote for a boom box once in a consignment box. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> well, this has been great, guys. Um, if you have questions or anything, make sure to leave those in the comments. Even if you're watching this on the replay, we do look at all the comments and we use your feedback to gauge what our topics are going to be for upcoming episodes. So make sure you're putting that feedback in. Let us know what you need for your band because that's literally what we're here for. We're here to serve you. We're here to educate everybody on what's going on in marching band and color guard world and how to get stuff done. So, uh, Christine, thanks for joining us this week. This thanks has been awesome. Hey, guys. <laughs> 
Go get those things up on the site now. Go, go get, go. Everybody, yes, yes. Hey. Everybody's excited. Everybody's excited. They want to see. I'm right at it, man. It's, it's coming up, you know, <laughs> well, working on some microsites too. Don't forget about oh, those. Oh yeah. Don't know? forget so. microsites. That's, that's a whole, that's a whole other, we need like a, we need a whole show on like time saving tips and all that kind of stuff. Right. Well, hey, one of them. Maybe, maybe that that's, could be coming up soon. Yeah. Because maybe that's next week. I don't soon, know. Yeah. Pretty soon. We're going to have like three microsites going. Yeah. for different schools so maybe yeah. we could talk about yeah. you know what those schools are doing and some of the items that they're getting and yep. we definitely the, can show them all the great absolutely. things that are going on absolutely sure. absolutely well awesome. thank you all thanks jeremy we'll see you guys next week bye, bye.